you tell us uh, what you do and why you came to California Music Tech? Yeah, so I um, am with a company called Stockholm Music City and we're bringing the music and the tech industries closer together. So we started off as a series of meetups um, okay. just to bring people together and like get them uh, to know each other and to collaborate and innovate together. Then we started our own like physical music hub um, and now we're back to focusing solely on the community and like I think that Wallafonia is like such an amazing thing for the music tech industry because um, I mean it's it's such a growing industry and it's it's really um, hard to find places that actually do that and bring people together like Wallafonia does and, and like we aim to do with Stockholm Music. Yeah. You're originally from Australia. Why did you make the move to Stockholm? It's a bit of a funny story, but I, um, I'm also a singer. Um, okay. So uh, I was completing my university degree um, in Tasmania, and um, then I saw that um, ABBA and ABBA the Museum, which was newly opened at the time, were starting an ABBA choir to mark the 40th anniversary of ABBA winning Eurovision, and I thought, this is me, this is it, like, <laughs> this is my time. So I sent in my audition tape, and, um, and they ended up um, picking me as the only international member from around the world to join this choir. There were okay. 49 Swedes and me. So I, uh, I sort of, I, they flew me to Sweden and I got to meet three out of four members of ABBA and I saw the potential in the music industry and I just thought like, that's my place. I actually met my co-founder Sarah, who was the one with the initial idea of um, creating this community and movement of Stockholm Music to bring the music and tech industries together. And she was telling me more and more about the industry and I was like, oh, that's not so different from music and musicians and music creators and like that's a that's a really nice idea to actually like bring people together and show them similarities rather than differences. I never thought I would have anything in common with a coder or like an engineer or anything and um, after seeing that then um, I decided that it was like a really inspiring and, and worthwhile way to change the music industry and make a healthier industry through tech. Can you give like some examples of uh, businesses that are working in the music tech field in Stockholm that's yeah. like are particularly interesting? Uh -huh. I mean, there are so many. I think like it obviously um, sort of started with those um, early success stories like Spotify and, yeah. um, and then Epidemic Sound and those sort of things. Um, but I think like the really super interesting ones that maybe people haven't heard of yet or are just starting to hear about now, um, Soundtrap, which was just acquired by Spotify at the end of 2017. Um, They've been working away for years on creating the best product that they possibly can and it's that's about um, letting people record wherever they are in the world. Like if I'm in Australia and I record a vocal line, then my colleague in Stockholm can record keyboards and, yeah. and somebody in London can do the bass line or whatever. So that's really exciting um, that people can collaborate and I think that it really plays into um, this whole uh, key to music success which is collaboration. I don't think that um, tech really replaces being in a physical space with people and meeting face to face. I think it's a really great um, opportunity to um, come together physically and then carry that relationship online. So um, I don't think that it necessarily like replaces it but it's like a really great add-on and I think that you can um, have physical spaces that really complement the mm -hmm. online virtual world that we exist in and that we're trying to promote with Music Tech. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us.